Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro here with another tutorial for you. Today, I'm working on a print project, uh, actually, for of Andrews University for the school where I am a full-time employee in their mail and print center. And we had a project come in. Um, somebody actually found an authentic like booklet from the old O'Reilly Hospital, um, which is where our campus actually sits. It's on part of the property that used to be the O'Reilly. Um, hospital. It was a World War II hospital. It's pretty pretty awesome. Um, but uh, that being said, I just they wanted to. It's like probably one of the only booklets in existence, and we're just kind of fixing it up a little bit, trying to restore this document. So what I've done is I've already scanned the document into the computer uh, at 600 PPI, and I'm just going to show you really quick what my process is for for going through and, and cleaning up this document. I'm not sure if this is the best um, example, this particular picture, this image, but I'll show you a couple other ones that I've worked on as well. But the first thing that I needed to do is go ahead and go into image, image rotation, and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we now are looking at the page in right reading. The next thing I did is I went ahead and cropped the page down. So we're looking at an 8.5 by 11 scan at 600 ppi. So I want to make sure that my width, height, and resolution are blank. Um, so you just want to like delete everything out of those. And now we're ready to go ahead and crop it. So I'll go ahead and draw out my crop. Now I don't need to be super precise with this because I can grab a hold of the little handles and just pull it in. That's right where I want that one. And if you need to, you can even zoom in on this. But uh, I'm not going to. If you hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and use your mouse to scroll in, you can kind of scroll in and out and make sure that you're getting super precise. But um, this is fine for my purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. And now it crops that, that page down. Now you'll notice that this is super old. I mean this this booklet is probably over 50 years old. The pages are already starting to kind of turn colors. So what I did is when I went through the first page, I I went into um image adjustments and levels and I went ahead and adjusted the levels till I got the page where I wanted it and then I saved it as a preset. So I went up here and I said, "Hey, save this as a preset." Um, so now that preset is right here, O'Reilly Booklet Project. I can just click on it and look at what it did. It immediately got my page white again and it brought the color back in, you know, this nice blue color and that red, you know, the blacks really popped out really nice and stuff again. So I can just go ahead and say OK. Next, I click on the brush tool and make sure that white is on top. And I'm going to come over here and clean up the edges. So I'm just using the, uh, I guess you would call it a bracket, uh, the bracket key to make this larger and smaller. Um, you can also go up here and you can actually adjust the size, like how many pixels it's going to be. Um, and I think about, oh, uh, whoops, I don't want to use, see that's the bracket I was talking about. So you can use these brackets um, on the keyboard. Uh, let's go with, or you can even punch in a number from right here. So I'm going to punch in 80. That looks like a pretty good size. Hold down the shift key. I'm going to uh, hold down the shift, get right above where I want to make this mark or make this um, line here. And watch what happens now as I drag down. I can move no matter where I want back and forth, but because I'm holding down the shift key, um, and I'll just kind of show you. Let me undo that, and I'll show you what's happening. So I've got that that edge there. So if I started right here, um, and I'm holding down the shift key and click and drag, I can drag way over here, and then let go. And notice I I didn't actually paint where you would think I would, because I'm holding down the shift key, so it keeps it in a straight line. Um, I can do the same thing right here. Uh, I will. Hold down shift and drag across. Do the same thing up here at the very top just in case there's anything there. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alt key and I'm going to zoom in. Um, you can hold down the space bar. It gives you that little hand tool so that you can move the page around. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to go in 
and clean up any little spots that I see on the page while I'm zoomed way in here. Look at this. We got a spot here. If I zoom way in close, I can get super precise. I'm going to bracket down a little bit just so I can get right in on there. We're going to clean that up. Very good. I see some blue over here. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Now we can zoom back out so we can see this whole page here. Make sure we don't miss anything. Once again, just holding down the space bar so I can move the page around. And now let me show you what I'm going to do over on this page because there's some uh, some spots that I might actually completely redesign this half of the page later on. I don't know. Um, but right now I just see some issues with it. Um, so one thing that I can do is, is I can come up here and I can take the um, spot healing brush tool and I can just drag that across the edge and it'll kind of recreate it for me. I don't like what it did. Um, it It's actually looking way further into the page than I wanted it to so I got this kind of shadow. So I'm going to control Z undo that and instead I'm going to grab this healing brush tool and what we'll do is, is we'll just jump this up a couple of points. Uh, I guess I want it to be large enough. Well, I can go back in and fix that here in just a minute. So let's actually go back down. Uh, and then holding down the Alt key, it gives you like this uh, weird little target. And then you just click with your mouse. And now you'll see that it's actually grabbing that exact spot. So now if I hold down the Shift and click and drag down, see it's actually just copying everything in that line over there. If I get too close to the end, it's going to just drag it off. It doesn't know what to grab. So I can Alt click again and now, uh, uh, whoops, I'm still holding down the Alt key. I don't want to do that. Uh, Shift, there we go. And just drag that out. We can kind of do the same thing right here. Just clean that up a little bit. You know, just kind of clean that up. It's still grabbing it from this little area right here. So I can you know, I can kind of do something like that. Um, and it's sampling other areas of the page too while I'm doing that. So it allows you to be able to clean things up a bit on the page. Um, looking at what's around it, it's, it's really kind of an intelligent way of doing the healing brush. Alright, so, and so you can imagine what that can be used for. So something like this, like I could come right here and hold down Alt and choose that as like the healing brush area. And then it will just kind of, and it'll show you when you click, you'll actually see a little target show up on the page so you know where it's sampling the page from. You know, I can Alt click over there and I can see where it's sampling the page from. Okay, so that's looking pretty good for this page. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out take a look at what we did here. Uh, let's jump back over here and look at what we started with. So there's what we started with and there is what we ended up with. Uh, pretty well done. I told you I was going to show you a couple other things I did. At this point I'm going to go ahead and um, choose the move tool here. I, I think that's what you call that. Uh, uh, it's a select, or not a selection, but a Anyways, the little pointer move tool and go ahead and say control S and it's going to save that file and I'm okay with that. Let's take a look at a couple other pages that I cleaned up already. Um, let's see, I think it was maybe page 10. Yeah, here is page 10. So when I did this one, I had to do a little bit more work to it just because um, we've got some black and white images on it and when I adjusted the levels the images actually looked blue so what I did is I came up here and I created a selection over top of the picture like so and then I went up to image adjustments and hue saturation and I just dropped the saturation all the way down to black so go ahead and cancel out of that um, also, if you zoom way in on these images, you'll see that this was a really old style of printing that they did. It was like a, a dot printer. So if we, if we zoom way in, we can see this kind of like mosaic of dots everywhere. Um, and there were some damage to this uh, area back here where there was like 
something had had goofed up the page and so using this healing brush this spot healing brush like that I was able to go in I was able to zoom in and using the brackets make this really small and watch what happens when I like click it like pretty intelligently fixes um, those different areas so that's like three different ones I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of there because I didn't like what that um, what that did but anyways I was able to go in and get the dots to show back up and it looked a whole lot better alright so that one is free just for fun I will still do my normal Thursday video so make sure you check that out if you're not already subscribed to the channel please take a moment to do so for more awesome tutorials I got some great things coming up in the future I will see you guys Thursday bye bye